Hi everyone, in this video I am going to introduce to you the new CMA syllabus for 2023-2027. This was just unveiled last week. So let's see what changes they have done and how you could register yourself for this professional qualification. Now you could access this new syllabus through the handbook that they have published. This is available in their new website. In this video, we are going to look at a summary of that handbook. Now, if you are interested in doing CMA, the main entry requirement that you must be having is three passes at your GCE A-level examination. Along with the three passes, they also expect a pass in the English language as well as mathematics at the GCE O level examination. So this will be the main entry requirement. If you have this qualification, yes, you are eligible to register yourself for CMA. Apart from that, if you are following other courses, even then you should be able to register yourself for CMA. They have mentioned in detail what other courses will be eligible to be registered for CMA. In case you don't have any qualifications, you don't have good results at your GCE A level or O level, still you should be able to register yourself for CMA through their mature entry. Here, all what you need is to be over 18 years of age as well as two years of working experience. If you have these two, you need to get a recommendation letter from your employer. And through that, you could register yourself to the CMA. Now, according to the new syllabus of CMA, they have four levels starting from certificate. Then you have operational, managerial and strategic. There, there are certain core subjects and certain skills related subjects. We will see what they are. Core subjects are four for each of the levels starting from level one to three. Only at level 5, the core subjects become 5. In terms of skills, it's just one at the certificate level. Thereafter, it's two, including communication as well as IT knowledge. Now, how CMA has structured their levels is that to accommodate students coming from different backgrounds, they allow level 1 and level 2 to be in any of the three languages, singular, Tamil and English so you could choose the language of your preference but thereafter all the exams are conducted in English only. My personal recommendation for you is to start your certificate level even in the English medium even if you're struggling. It will be a quite a hurdle for you but still if you get the hang of it, if you get to know your basic terms it will be easier. Because if not, you do two levels and at the third level, when you move to a different language, it can be a little bit challenging. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, they have this interesting thing like the other qualifications where if you finish each level, at the end of each level, they give you a certain certification. So if you successfully complete level one, you will be awarded the certificate in accounting and business studies. If you finish level 2, it will be considered as a diploma in accounting and business studies. If you finish level 3, it will be considered as the advanced diploma in accounting and business studies. If you successfully finish level 4, you get to carry the term strategic professional certificate. Now, this is the structure of the new syllabus. As we just spoke about, the syllabus is mainly divided into core and skill streams. Under the core stream, you have four main core streams. You have management accounting, then you have financial accounting and finance, then you have business management and supportive stream. So each subject is a subsection of each of these core streams. You could see it being extended throughout. So you could see four core subjects here, 
four core subjects at operational, four core subjects at managerial. But at strategy level, you will stick for four core subjects as well as an integrated case study. So altogether, there will be five subjects at the strategic level. If you take the skill stream, you will be starting off with the basic English language. Now, that is a good start if you are doing your level one in English medium. So, it's a good support. Thereafter, it becomes advanced into professional communication, added with IT knowledge known as the subject IT application. Then the communication becomes a little bit more advanced called the advanced professional communication. Again, this is going to couple with the interesting subject, data analytics. It's a very good subject area for you to know because that's what the one in demand these days. And thereafter, at strategic level, there's going to be no more subject focus on the communication, but the entire focus is going to shift towards IT where you have two subjects, digital tools for accountants as well as advanced data analytics. In my opinion, the level three and level four skill stream relating to technology is excellent because those are the ones in demand at the moment. So having that is an added advantage to your now, after you finish your strategic level, you need to show your professional practical experience. And after they, you know, approve that practical experience, then you will be eligible to become a member of the CMA body. Now, let's get into how they conduct the classes. The CMA study program is conducted through registered educational institute. And apart from that, you even have e-learning options, video lectures, and they have their study packs available for you. You could purchase them and even attempt self-study course if you have that self-control to study by yourself. Now, the comprehensive study packs are available across all uh, levels in English medium. But as I told you before, just for two, the first two levels, they have the study packs in English, Sinhala and Tamil medium. Now, if you see level one, these are the four core subjects and the skill subject. Just in case if you didn't see it properly there, highlighting it to you over here. So at certificate level, you will learn about the cost and management accounting, financial accounting, business related fundamentals and quantitative methods for business along with the basic business English that you need to know. So it's a good solid foundation. Thereafter, you have level two, a little bit more advanced than certificate level where they expand on each of the core areas. So there you learn about cost and management accounting, advanced financial accounting and finance, managing business operation, audit and control, and finally taxation and commercial law as a core subject. Skill subject gets extended where you get an additional IT related subject there. So Business communication gets advanced into professional communication added with the IT application subject. Level 3, managerial level, you will have advanced management accounting, corporate reporting and assurance, digital business and project management, and advanced taxation and corporate law as your core subjects. Along with this, you have two skill subjects, advanced professional communication and data analytics strategic level four you have your case study along with the case study you have four more subjects to finish off sustainability and strategic management accounting financial strategy and valuation business strategy and risk management governance and ethics and along with this you have two skill subjects and this time both are focused on technology stream where you have digital tools as well as advanced data analytics now if you take the integrated case study it's going to be conducted in two stages where in phase one you will be getting a pre-scene or in other words scenario one where you will get to know the industry about the company the pre-context of the case so that's a useful tool for you because you can get prepared for that industry prepared to know about the competition and whatnot. So it's an added advantage. This will be given six weeks prior to the examination. 
But in stage 2 or phase 2, what happens is at the exam level. So, you'll be uh, reading your pre prepared with the pre and you go and sit for your exam. At the exam, you get the scenario 2 or in other words, phase 2 where you will have some additional information on maybe certain latest problems they have or certain additional info that we didn't have at the pre level along with the questions that you need to answer. You get 3 hours to tackle the integrated case study along with 15 minutes to read the scenario 2. Now, after you successfully finish all four levels along with the integrated case study, all you need to do is to show your practical experience. If you show three years of practical experience, then you become eligible to the CMA membership. But for you to show your work experience, you need to have a logbook, how you document your experience and that needs to be submitted. And after that being submitted, they will have a viva. So at the vivas, candidates are supposed to, uh, you know, bring their membership application, a complete checklist, a brief of your company that you're working at the moment, your current CV, your employment summary, your service letters, your duly completed logbook to prove your practical experience, as well as the certified copy on your final examination. If all are in line, you will be getting your CMA membership. So that's a small snapshot of CMA. I hope it was interesting to you. Do explore their website to get to know more details. Thank you so much for listening in. Subscribe to Learning Business for more videos.